So you want to play Doom on a modern PC, but you're not sure where to begin. In my opinion, the best way to play the classic Doom games is by using a source port. And there are many different source ports you can use. There's GZ Doom, Xandronum, Doomsday, Chocolate Doom. If you're after a more authentic experience, sort of like what you would get on an old DOS computer, then I highly recommend Chocolate Doom. GZ Doom, on the other hand, uses OpenGL, which means it runs really smooth, it supports high resolutions, it also has dynamic lights, fog, 3D models, and much more. So you, if you're not necessarily after authenticity and you'd like to have all these cool f new features, then GZ Doom, in my opinion, is the way to go, and that's the one that I use most of the time. Now thankfully, regardless which source port you decide to use, it's really easy to install and play Doom. All you have to do is first download and extract the source port. Next, go to your Doom installation directory, and this works even for GOG and Steam, and copy the iWAD file, which is either doom.wad or something like doom2.wad, or in the case of Final Doom, it'll be plutonia.wad or tnt.wad, but copy that iWAD file to the source port folder. And that's all you have to do. And when you want to play Doom, you just go to the source port folder and double click the executable and the game should run. Now, if you've decided to go with Chocolate Doom, you really don't need to watch any further. It's, it's easy to set up and play. There's not a whole lot to it. If on the other hand, you decided to go with GZ Doom, since it has so many options, I've decided to give you guys some tips that'll help you get the best experience possible. Now, some of these are really important and other ones are just sort of optional. As far as the important tips go, when you first start playing with GZ Doom, you'll of course want to make sure that your screen resolution is set up correctly. And to do this, all you have to do is go to Options and then Set Video Mode and you should be able to set up your resolution there. You'll also probably want to customize your keybinds so that WASD moves and perhaps E is the use key rather than spacebar. To do that, you just go to Options and then Customize Controls. Finally, you'll probably want to change the HUD scaling because at modern resolutions like 1080p and above, the HUD can kind of look small. All you have to do is go to Options, HUD options, and then scaling options, and just sort of play around with these values until you find something you like. Now I play at 1080p, and my preferred values are to have messages set to three, status bar set to four, and then HUD preserves aspect ratio turned on. I find that this just results in the best overall look. As far as some optional settings go, if you would like to have full mouse look where you can use the mouse to look all the way around you like in a modern game, all you have to do is go to Options, Mouse Options, and turn Always Mouse Look on. And now whenever you jump in and play, you can look all the way around you as if the game is in full 3D. If you turn on this option, you'll probably also want to have a crosshair just to make it easier for you to know exactly what you're aiming at, and this is also really easy to do. All you have to do is just go to Options, HUD Options, and change default crosshair to something other than none. Now you'll of course also want to make sure that crosshair is set to on, but I believe it's that way by default, so you really shouldn't have to change that. I also recommend that you set scale crosshair to something around 0.25 or thereabouts because by default, in my opinion, the crosshair is too large and you'll probably want to lower it a little bit just to make it look a little less obnoxious and to not have it obscure your view as much. When it comes to video settings, there are also some optional things you might want to change. For example, the texture filtering. By default, the textures like for your weapons and enemies can look sort of blurry because they have filtering. If you want to disable this and have these really crisp textures where you can see like the individual pixels, all you have to do is go to Options, Display Options, Texture Options, and then change Texture Filter Mode to None.
Something else that's really cool is you can have dynamic lights enabled even for the game's default assets. So, for example, if you want like an imp's fireballs to cast light and gunshots to cast light and things like that, then all you have to do is go to your GZ Doom folder, open up the file called GZ Doom dash whatever your username is dot INI. You can open this with something like Notepad. Scroll down until you see a section that begins with the number sign, WAD files to always load. And then when you get to that section, underneath global.autoload, add these two lines. Path equals brightmaps.pk3 without any spaces. And path equals lights.pk3, again, without any spaces. Then just save the .ini file to keep your changes. And the next time you play the game, you should start to see dynamic lights being cast. So, for example, go fight an imp and you'll notice that his fireball casts light. Uh, if you blow up a barrel, you'll notice that it creates light. And I think this looks really cool. This is the way I like to play. It's not true to the original game, but I, th I just think it looks awesome. Finally, I have some optional tips for the music settings. So by default, Fluid Synth is the MIDI player that it uses and you can turn on this reverb setting that gives it more depth and in my opinion just makes it sound better. To do this you can go to Options, Sound Options, Advanced Options, MIDI Player Options, and then Fluid Synth and turn Reverb on. Now, if you're an old school guy and you want this sort of DOS sound blaster style music, then you can turn on OPL music and get this really raw old school sound. And this is also extremely easy to do. All you have to do is go to Options, Sound Options, and just change MIDI device to OPL Synth Emulation. This is often the way I like to play because I grew up with this kind of sound. And even though it's really raw and primitive sounding, I just, I really like it and I think it suits Doom really well. So these are all my tips. I hope this video has helped you guys out. If this is your first time playing Doom, then welcome to one of the greatest games ever made, if not the greatest game ever made. And if you're coming back, welcome back. I think it's amazing how well it holds up today. It's still fun as hell to play and especially with source ports like GZ Doom, there's really no better time to play Doom than now. So thank everybody for watching. If you guys have any questions at all, or if you run into any problems at all, just feel free and let me know in the comments below. And this is Chubbs signing out.